It was in the Red Hook section of Brooklyn. And there was a gentleman there by the name of Vito Genovese. He was one of the heads of the Cosa Nostra. So what he would do, he would give my father sometimes five cents, sometimes 10 cents, sometimes 25 cents to run either money or papers to different people. He used him as an errand boy. And there were many times that my father wound up sleeping in the bar at night. They would let him stay there. And he kind of wound up under Vito Genovese's wing. Vito Genovese, when my father was between six and eight years old, even got him a job singing for Prince Spaghetti on the radio doing commercials. So he wound up being brought up by Vito Genovese and his loyalty held no bounds to these people. This man in the middle is my uncle Gene. This was my grandfather Vincent on my mother's side. And this is my uncle Alex. This gentleman I do not know, and this is a man that was known as Nelly. Okay, what did Nelly do? Every gentleman in this picture was associated with organized crime. My grandfather was a loan shocker and racketeer. At the time that my father was in Brooklyn, he dealt a great deal with the main head, which was Gambino himself. And he was very close to Joe Colombo, um, the Bonanno family, Joe Bonanno. And he was very close to Paulie Castellano. Okay. My father had taken over the job of what is known as bag man from a man by the name of Jimmy Reardon, also known as Squire Reardon. And a bag man was the man who got the payoffs for the police department to look the other way. The agency, the CIA, was bringing in drugs. And Dad was a liaison between organized crime families, because my father was a made man with organized crime. He rode both sides of the fence. And they used Dad for it. So Dad used to uh, take the payoffs from different people, and there were certain people in the police department that were paid off to look the other way. He would be in England, he would be in Hong Kong, he would be in Hawaii. Germany, Spain. Many times when my dad left, he had an attache case, which is in my possession, and it was always handcuffed to his left wrist. Did your father mention any association with Manuel Noriega? Only that they were running drugs with Noriega, and Noriega was being paid exorbitant amounts of money on a monthly basis. Did your father mention working directly with Noriega? He knew Noriega. He knew Manuel Noriega. Did he indicate to you he knew Noriega well? Or just in passing? He knew Manuel Noriega. And monies that went to Manuel Noriega, my father paid to him for the agency. Your father wrote out a personal check? No, he was paymaster or a bag man, whatever you want to refer to it, as far as NYPD, but that's also what he did for Central Intelligence. Bill Casey had come to my home, well, not my home, my father's home, for my son's christening, which took place in 1973, March of 73. Mm -hmm. And they were social friends also. They would go out often. The Casey's would come to our home. If it's Barry Seal that you're asking me about, my father worked very closely with Barry Seal. Where? Drug running. Do you have an idea of the year? No, I do not. Okay. I know my father told me that Barry Seal would be taken out. 
he would be eliminated, and he was. I don't know by whom. Frank Nugan. Frank Nugan and Michael Hand, my father was good friends with, Nugan Hand Bank. My father was passing himself off as George Bush's private doctor. Did you have any indication of anything else about Mr. Bush? I don't understand your question. They were running drugs. Mr. Bush? Yes. With the assistance of? Mr. North and quite a few others. Have you ever been able to identify Mr. Bush? Ex-President of the United States, George Bush. How do you know it was that George Bush? Because my father said at one time he was, number one, the President of the United States is involved, and if all this information came down, it would bring down the Oval Office. Number two, he was involved with drug running because my father worked with him when he was with the CIA. Did your father ever mention Jackson Stevens? In reference to Mena, Arkansas, yes. And what did he say about Mr. Stevens? Derogatory, and that he was the backing of most of the money for half of this stuff. Half of which stuff? A lot of drugs that were coming into Mena. And that's where he knew Barry Seal from also, Mena, Arkansas. William Jefferson Clinton. The President of the United States. The present President, yes. Did your father have any association with him? I don't know if he had association with him. All of I know is that there were dealings in Mena, Arkansas through drug running while he was governor. Did your father indicate that Governor Clinton knew about the drug running? Of course. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Did he say how he knew the governor knew? How? Did he indicate how the governor would know about the drug running? Because there was a meeting at one time off record between Ollie North and George Bush, and they had met Bill Clinton in Mena, Arkansas. So Oliver North, George Bush, went to Mena, Arkansas, and met with Governor Clinton. Exactly. How did your father know this? Or because did he... my father was in Mena. At the same meeting? I don't know if he was at the meeting, but he was there. But he saw the three gentlemen together? Yes. But he doesn't know what they talked about? Never said. Black operations were paid through my father. If people needed to be hired, they were hired through my father. If people needed to be eliminated, he was the one who was the final, I guess, down the line to give the order. He paid certain people off in NYPD for the drugs that they were bringing in from South America through the Central Intelligence Agency to look the other way. He paid people off to do things in this country that they used the mafia for at times that were working for the CIA to do criminal activities in this country. And he would hire those people? Certainly. And he would pay those people? Certainly. And he would fire those people? Certainly. In some manner? Exactly. And he was involved with drug running as a military officer? Yes. So this person, and I mean no disrespect, so this was person... Was as dirty as the day is long. Okay. 